Yo guys, what's going on? Devon here and today as promised, I'll be filling this gap. I'll be installing some shelves, putting up my sword, pretty much destroying my landlord's house. No, I'm just kidding. So first, let's go ahead and get rid of all this stuff right here. We don't want them getting in the way. It's already such a small space to work with right here. All right guys, let's go ahead and get rid of my humongous water bottle and um, my snacks. I've never showed you guys this before, but it's my VR. Well, I'll show you after we're done installing everything external hard drive is the one that I use the most to play video games. Blue is my favorite color. <sighs> Man, this is killing my back. We're just gonna go electronic. Go ahead and get... <laughs> that was much easier. So this is kind of lean, so I'll have to go ahead and head back in with a pencil and make another crude measurement. I can't find the hole. Voila, that's the first one known. <laughs> I know I should be feeling a sense of accomplishment, but I'm just feeling pain in my back. All right, just one more, one more show. Initially, my plan was to have the sword horizontally through here. So technically, it's supposed to be like this. We hold up like that. And then this part, of course, would be in the wall. So I was thinking about having it here. But as you can see, there is not a lot of space for it. And then if I put it here, nobody would ever see it. So what I'll be doing instead is I'll have it like so. Right here, right below my ambu mask. So what we're gonna do is pretty much install it like so. So let's just go ahead and start doing that right now. Thunder! Thunder! Thundercats! Thundercats are on the loose. Thunder, thunder cats. You, you do remember that cartoon, right? Or are you guys too young? Anywho, this is pretty much the plan. We're pretty much just going to hook it right here. See? Worst case scenario, somebody bumps into it because that bitch is gonna fall. <laughs> and it's very heavy, it's a very heavy sword. I had no idea that swords were this heavy, it's crazy. So, seeing that we're pretty much done with installation, let's go ahead now and 
you know, put up all the sweet stuff. Unfortunately, the only thing that I've gotten so far is I got some very, some very cheap because you know that anime action figures, they're very expensive. So what I would probably do is like every month, I would probably buy one or every other month, but I don't know, eventually. But the really good stuff, really expensive. You want the really refined action figures with really good detailing, you have to fork out like your kidney and a lung to afford it. So I just bought like some cheap stuff. Um, so these are characters from Demon Slayer. They're chibi, pretty much. So I'll be putting those up. I ordered some other stuff that haven't gotten in here yet. There is one that's supposed to come tomorrow. I'll just show you guys that um, during the stream. So for now, let's go ahead and just put up what we currently have. So that's gonna be right up here. Let's go ahead and bust into the bag of chibi goodies that I got. I don't remember the name of these guys because I watched this anime a very long time ago. Haven't watched the movie yet to kind of refresh my memory. Haven't, um, season two hasn't dropped yet, still waiting on that. So unfortunately, I can't call these guys names out, but you can. <laughs> Just leave the names in the comments. I would really appreciate it. Ooh, this really sucks. Oh my gosh. The quality is worse. It's, it's worse than I thought. Thanks, China. But I just really wanted to have something right off the bat. Ooh. Okay, so that was a complete failure. Nezuko is being very problematic right now. And we've got the star of the show, the bro bro, Tojiro. Still pretty shitty quality. Here we go, the final dad, the crabberry. Let's start the cleanup process, guys. Alrighty then, guys. So we are done. Everything is back in place and clean. So this is pretty much my setup for the time being. Got my ring light right here. Headset microphone. This is pretty much um, recent, this keyboard right here, because like I mentioned before, I plan to start playing Call of Duty Warzone with a keyboard and mouse. So I s got a really good keyboard so that I can rest my hand right here on this soft, wonderful pad without any aches and pains. And not this hand, but my right hand. I um, got an injury when I was a kid. I fell off my bike and pretty much ripped my, my palm open it was pretty bad. Since then, I can't write for extended periods. Like I remember doing exams in high school and it was pretty difficult because after writing for like two hours, it would start like pain. It would start aching me. But anyway, I don't want to have that problem when I'm gaming. So I figured I would get this. I really like the mechanical keyboards. Like there's a lot of definition. So when I have my fingers on the keys, it's very hard for my finger to slip off without me noticing. So I figured I would get this it's pretty nice. And there's my laptop and the Psy. I bought this um three years ago and it's pretty, it's still handling the games pretty well. I'm very proud of this wonderful baby. Keep it up, please. Please keep it up. I'm a very poor man. <laughs> So I've got my second monitor here, nothing special. And this is what Andy wanted to see. <laughs> Look at these buds, dude. This is the only butt that I can poke without going to prison. Oh yeah, there we go. Very comfortable, dude. Trust me, makes a very big difference. So definitely a very wise purchase, especially because of these very firm cheeks. You feel me? My humongous water bottle, my snacks, and my controllers. And this is the headset. Let's go ahead and unzip this. Give me a moment. Here we go. So this is the Oculus Quest 2. I plan to bring some new content to the floor using this baby. I just need some time to work on it. And um, Kina will also be doing Beat Saber while cosplaying. So that should be pretty interesting. But definitely look forward to contents with the VR very soon. And here is the shelving that we just did. This is pretty much a close up. Here is my um, background. My Rising of the Shield hero poster. And my Zelda poster. Yeah, there's a better view. Really love this anime. I can't wait for season two to start. 
Here's my Ambu mask. That shit's too tight to go on my face, so I figured <laughs> it's just gonna stay on my wall in indefinitely. And then here's the sword. I promise you guys a close up, so here we go. Probably need a bit more lighting. Uh, yeah, just a wee bit more lighting. Here are the guys that I just put up a while ago. So we still have an entire shelf that we don't have anything on. So I'll go ahead and start browsing around to see what would really complement this shelf. So I will definitely keep you guys posted on that. And I have another um, something else coming in tomorrow, which I'll probably put up here. And then I'll probably put the robot down here along with some other stuff. Haven't really decided yet, but definitely stay tuned for that guys. Um, let me just go ahead and take the sword out so that you guys can see the blade close up. Alrighty then, so here we go. This is the blade. It's pretty sweet. When I saw this, I was like, shut up and take my money. I was just pretty surprised though because when I ordered it, um, like early February or I think late um, January, it um, on eBay, they said that I wouldn't get it until April. <laughs> So I was surprised two weeks afterwards I saw that I got it. I'm like, holy crap. I know that they give the, the sellers like a grace period, but it was still pretty surprising that it came in that early. So it's a pretty sweet blade. They don't usually sharpen this a whole lot just because, you know, it technically is a weapon and they don't want people hurting themselves seeing that they're just using it as decor. But this is relatively sharp. I mean, if I run my finger along this blade, like with enough force, I can pretty much open up my thumb or it can chop somebody's hand off. It's, it's pretty lethal. So you don't want to play around with this. Just gonna have it on my wall and make jokes about committing simple coup, but that's pretty much it. Really won't be messing around with this thing because it's not safe, but yeah, that's pretty much it guys. It is now, I don't know if you can see that, but it's 524. Almost time to start streaming. So definitely go ahead and tune in for that. Thanks for watching. It's a very long video, I know, but I really want to show you guys while I was destroying my wall. And it turned out pretty good considering that I've never really installed shelving before. Anyway, I'll catch you on the next one, guys. Later.